This is lesson 35 on comparators. In this lesson we're going to see how to make a 4-bit comparator using 1-bit comparators. Here's a 1-bit comparator that's going to compare a single bit X to a single bit Y. Notice there are two other inputs, G in and L in, and three outputs, G out, E out, and L out. Now the variable G out is going to be 1 if x is greater than y, that is if x is 1 and y is 0. Or if x is equal to y, then g out will be equal to g in. e out is going to be 1 if x is equal to y, either they're both 0 or both 1, and g in and l in are both 0. And l out is going to be 1 if x is less than y, that is if x is 0, y is 1, or if they're equal, x is equal to y, then l out will just be l in. Now we can make this truth table. You remember g out is going to be 1 if x is greater than y. Okay, well, here's that x is 1 and y is 0 here, so we got four ones here. Or if they're equal, and g in is 1. So here's g in is 1, they're both 0, so we get 1's. Here g in is 1, and they're both 1's, so we get 1's. So that's the truth table for g out. e out's 1 if x is equal to y, and g in and l in are both 0. Well, here, here's the case, 0, 0, 0, 0. And there's only other, one other case, when they're both 1's and they're both 0's. So E out has a 1 only here and here, and L out is going to be 1 if X is less than Y, that is if it's 0, here we have these four zeros and these four ones, so L out is 1, or if they're equal and L in is 1, so here's L in is 1 and they're equal, here L in is 1 and they're equal, here L in is 1 and they're both 1, L in is 1 and they're both 1. So that's how we get the truth table. Now you could solve those three equations using Carnot maps. If you do that you'll find that G out is given by this logic equation. E out, <coughs> well you can't do anything with E out so it's just the two min terms. And L out reduces to this logic equation. So we've got a logic equation for G out, E out, and L out and therefore we've solved the little problem of a one-bit comparator. Now, we can use four of these and cascade them together in this fashion. So x is x3, x2, x1, x0, a 4-bit x, and we're comparing it with a 4-bit y, y3, y2, y1, y0. Notice that g in and l in both start at 0. So let's see how it works. Suppose you want to compare an x of 1, 0, 1, 0, that is 10, to y of 7. Well, x is greater than y, so we're going to end up with g greater out here is going to be 1. So let's see how it works. It starts with the least significant bit. It compares x0 to y0, although well, that's 0 and 1. And since x is less than y, then l1 is going to be 1. Well, now the next bit, you see x1 is equal to y1, they're both 1. So in that case, since L1 is 1, it just gets passed through. So you got a 1 here, this G is 0. Now X2 is less than Y2, so L3 is going to be 1 because of that. And finally, X3 is greater than Y3, 1 is greater than 0, so that's going to force G4 and therefore greater than to be 1. So that's how it works. Let's do one more example. Let's compare 5 to, in this case, 13. So in this case, x is going to be less than y when we get done. But, but look, here x0 is equal to y0, so the two zeros get passed through. Here they're both equal again. x1 is equal to y1, and so in that case they're equal and so that the equal, which but notice that the equal that comes out doesn't have to get connected. 
it's the equal that was 1, so g1 in L0, you know, is 0 in this case. Same thing here, x1 is equal to y1, therefore the equal got 1, but we don't have to pass it on because these are both 0. Here, x2 and y2 are both 1, so again, the equal would have been 1 here, but the g3 and L3 are still 0. And finally, in the very last bit, you see, y3 is 0, uh, x3 is 0, y3 is 1, and so x3 is less than y3, so L4 becomes 1, and this less than will set equal to L4, and so in this case, L, uh, less than is equal to 1, so in fact x, which is 5, is in fact less than y, which is 13.